A Step into the Past Volume 22 Chapter 12 Book 22 Chapter 12, Meeting of the Two Courtesans Amazingly, Feng Fei did not look for Xiang Shao long after the departure of Lord Long Yang. It was only until lunchtime was over before Little Ping received her command to summon Xiang Shao Long for a talk. As he walked behind her towards the inner hall, Little Ping who has been ignoring him for the past few days suddenly remarked with a friendly disposition, So you prefer males instead of females? Little Ping can finally give you up. Not knowing whether to laugh or cry, Xiang Xiao Long knows that he should not deny it but he cannot don't deny as well. Exhaling a breath, he predicted, Sister Ping will know the truth one day. But there is something I do not understand. Shouldn't Sister Ping be following Mistress all the way? Why does it seem like... Like... Hey! Covering her mouth, Little Ping giggled, Are you implying that I appeared to be looking for someone to settle down with? Frankly speaking, it has never crossed my mind to marry you. I am only annoyed at your condescending behavior. Mistress has advised me that my first time is the most important, and must be given to someone who truly loves me. I naturally do not wish to leave Mistress's service but she had given me the freedom to leave if I choose to. Suddenly, he was struck by a thought and quizzed, what if you got yourself pregnant? Her face reddening slightly, Little Pinger chided, it is none of your business. Furthermore, all troop members would know how to prevent fertilization. Oh, are you still interested in women? Why are you asking these embarrassing questions? Seeing that in the opinion of Little Pinger, it is a foregone conclusion that he is gay so he kept quiet instead. The side of the inner hall is still occupied by various instruments but there is nobody else except for Feng Fei. After Little Pinger excused herself, Xiang Xiao Long sat down alongside Feng Fei, inquiring, Has Mistress met Shi Sifang before? Feng Fei shook her head in an uninterested way, lamenting, Boss, Jin Cheng is a real talent. Managing the operations, courtesans, and clients in an admirable fashion, gaining the respect of one and all. Unfortunately, I am unable to recruit someone as capable as him, otherwise, I need not bear with your nonsense. Xiang Xiao Long prompted, Mistress is still mad at me. Feng Fei lowered her head, chuckling, Who dares to be angry at you? Even Lord Long Yang is full of admiration and respect for you. Moreover, you would hug and kiss me whenever you are in a good mood but will turn around and give me a piece of your mind when you are in a bad mood. Luckily, Feng Fei no longer needs to worry about you needing a companion for the night. Otherwise, it will be a source of insomnia for me. Deflated like a balloon, Xiang Xiao Long mused, even you believe that I am gay. Feng Fei shook her head, nope, but this is what everyone else is thinking. Xinyu was so heartbroken she went back to her room in tears. But I am certain you are not adverse to females, because I am speaking from personal experience. I am intentionally teasing you, dying to wipe that silly smile off your face. Xiang Xiao Long bitterly laughed, you are really good to me. Feng Fei admitted, I can no longer fathom what kind of person you are but since Lord Long Yang guarantees your absolute reliability, Singing the same tune as Mr. Tan, I am willing to conclude that you are a man of your word. Feng Fei will no longer doubt you and wishes to listen to your plans. Xiang Xiao Long plainly advised, We must resolve our internal issues before we can confront external parties, there is no better way. If Mistress is prepared to delegate complete authority to me, I will firstly commit to getting rid of Zhang Chuan, S.A. Li, and their conspirators. Once we reached Xianyang safely, it will be mission accomplished. Feng Fei was slightly upset, you seem to have forgotten that Liu Biwe wields considerable influence in Xianyang. Acting surprised, Xiang Shaolong wondered, Mistress is going for Xiang Shaolong, isn't? What can Liu Biwe do to him? Feng Fei knows that she had spilled the wrong beans and shyly lied, but he is currently engaged in war. I am afraid that Liu Biwe will hunt me down before I get to see him. Amused, Xiang Xiao Long purposely teased her, that is not an issue. All we need to do is to notify the Wu family. They will surely offer mistress protection. 
Feng Fei's face has turned completely red, we must never do that. Nobody knows about our special relationship. I. Can we talk about this later? Xiang Xiaolong decided to let her off this time. Checking the sky, he reminded, Shi Su Feng should be here any minute. I will receive her at the main gate. Does mistress have other instructions? Feng Fei questioned, Do you have any appointments tonight? Xiang Xiaolong shook his head, I have to pay a visit to Xie Ziwan tonight. What do you have in mind? Feng Fei responded, It is nothing much. I initially wanted you to accompany me to attend a banquet hosted by the King of Qi and Tian Dan. It is a welcoming feast for Liu Buwei and I wanted you to observe him from the side. Forget it. Xiang Xiaolong was secretly grateful for this close shave. Ever since Lord Longyang and Li Yuan saw through his masquerade, he does not have the confidence to face Liu Buwei. When Xiao Yuan offered to disguise his appearance, they were not prepared for face-to-face -face encounters so Xiang Xiaolong could not blame him. Feng Fei meaningfully batted her eyes at him, imploring, Can you come to my room tonight? I have several matters to consult you. Knowing that she is finally trusting him, Xiang Xiaolong cheerfully left. Striding out of the main gate, Shi Su Fang's convoy of carriages was just arriving. Xiang Xiaolong hastily hunched his back and slipped the fruit seed under his tongue before advancing forward to welcome her. As charming as ever, Shi Su Fang dismounted from her carriage in an unhurried manner. Xiang Xiaolong and his fellow colleagues from Feng Fei's troop were in a daze over her worldly beauty. He bowed down to pay his respects to her, not daring to meet her at eye level. After two maids adjusted her cape, Shi Su Fang came up to Xiang Xiaolong with Boss Jin by her side. This beauty did not put on any makeup and her hair is bundled to the top of her head before forming a short braid at the back. It is a somewhat casual style, unique to her and matching her aura perfectly. Under the wind-breaking cape, she wore a coat with a singlet on top. There were shoulder pads on her two shoulders, tied prettily with ribbons. In addition, three thin belts are coiled around her waist showing off its slenderness and causing her breasts to become more noticeable, enhancing her beauty by several notches. Xiang Xiaolong could not help but secretly praise her intelligence. In terms of beauty, only Ji Yanran, Qin Qing, or Li Yunyan is able to match Feng Fei. But since Shi Su Feng is fully utilizing her strength, which is her individuality, she only appears to be slightly inferior to Feng Fei. On the surface, it is a friendly meeting between the two ladies but comparisons will inevitably be made. Shi Su Feng appears to be unable to see through Xiang Xiaolong's disguise. When Boss Jin introduced the two of them, she only nodded her head as a show of courtesy. Xiang Xiaolong swiftly moved ahead to lead the way. Boss Jin took two quick steps, walking shoulder to shoulder with him before querying, I just received news saying that Brother Shen barged into Zhang Sun residence all by yourself, asking for your captured men to be released. Is it really true? Xiang Xiaolong realized that news really travels fast in Lin Ziai and answered, it is just a lucky break. Boss Jin instantly had a better opinion of Xiang Xiaolong, raising a thumb up and cautioned, now I know why Miss Feng assigned Brother Shen such a heavy responsibility. However, Zhang Sun Long has always been a domineering man. Now that he has lost face, he will certainly get even with you one day. I noticed that Brother Shen did not even have a sword with you. I will get someone to deliver one to you later. Whenever necessary, you can use it to defend yourself. If you do not accept, you are disregarding Jin Cheng, me, as a friend. Xiang Xiaolong laughed. I guess my only choice is to thank you from the bottom of my heart. Shi Su Feng's pleasant sounding voice advised from behind, Zhang Sun Long's son Zhang Sun Sun Hua is one of the top four disciples of Mr. Wang Zhu, Cao Kai Hudeo. Mr. Shen must be careful. Boss Jin painstakingly guided, I am not aware of Brother Shen's sword skills but this man has yet to meet his match in Lin Ziai and shares equal fame with Tian Dan's number one swordsman Dan Chu. When Brother Shen face him and is not confident about winning, you can throw down your sword and admit defeat. 
the swordsmen of Kixia value their reputation and will never attack a declared loser. Hey! Although we are newly acquainted, I am already using such a heavy tone. Brother Shen please do not hold it against me. Xiang Xiaolong can only feel goodwill for this man. He nodded, I have yet to express my gratitude for your concern. Why would I hold anything against you? Behind him, Shi Su Fang was astounded, I did not expect Mr. Shen to be so broad-minded, not taking to heart when Master Jin asserted that you are inferior to Zhang Sun Suan Hua. Slightly tensed, Xiang Xiaolong changed the topic, Kixia is famous for their swordsmen. I am sure there are many outstanding characters besides the two of them. Boss Jin articulated, the sword practitioners are immeasurable but the cream of the cream are only a handful. Ma Chenjia and Min Ting Zhang are two of them and they love to participate in duels. After Brother Shen's encounter last night, you may have invited more trouble for yourself. Shi Su Fang gently reasoned, no matter how reckless they are, they would not dare cause trouble here. But if Mr. Shen leaves this place, you may be open to their provocation. Xiang Xiaolong appreciated, many thanks for Mistress's pointers. By now, they have arrived at the stairs of the main block where Feng Fei is residing. Feng Fei came out of the door to welcome them and both ladies exchanged a knowing look, wasting no time in scrutinizing each other, capturing every little detail. Feng Fei sweetly smiled, I have heard of junior sister Shi's fame a long time ago. Today we finally get the chance to meet each other. After Shi Su Fang paid her respects as a junior, she went forward and held Feng Fei's hands, exclaiming, Senior Sister Feng is giving me too much credit. When I first laid my eyes on Senior Sister Feng, I almost thought you are an angel from heaven. With a melodious and ringing titter, Feng Fei hooked arms with Shi Su Fang as they stepped into the hall. Seeing that Boss Jin is still dazzled on the spot like a wooden chicken due to his first encounter with Feng Fei's ultimate magnificence, Xiang Xiaolong gave him a slight push, bringing him to his senses and following Xiang Xiaolong into the hall. Feng Fei and Xiang Xiaolong sat down on one side while Shi Su Fang and Boss Jin sat on the other side as Little Ping er served tea. Out of the blue, Xiang Xiaolong thought of a crazy theory. To a certain extent, Liu Buwei's desperate attempts to obtain Feng Fei are due to a hidden competitive nature against Xiang Xiaolong specifically. Ji Yanran is Xiang Xiaolong's wife and Liu Buwei's pursuit of Qin Qing has ended in failure. Unless he gets his hands on Feng Fei, he will be inferior to Xiang Xiaolong in this aspect. To be honest, even Liu Buwei himself may not be able to perpetuate this reality. After a round of pleasantries, Shi Su Fang humbly seeked, Master Jin has his own point to make but Su Fang, I, is sincerely here to learn from Senior Sister Feng, curious to find out what is Senior Sister Feng's secret to making everyone fall head over heels over your performances. Feng Fei knows that she is just being modest because Shi Su Fang herself is another captivating courtesan. Nonetheless, there is some truth in her words. Feng Fei warmly articulated, Junior sister need not put me on the high pedestal. We are simply entertainers and everything we do follow this 16-word motto, great song and dance, white teeth and pretty eyes, performing according to segment, finding one's niche. Although we are just a display of song and dance, at the same time, we are spreading culture and aesthetic appreciation. Shi Su Fang was overjoyed, Su Fang would like to hear about the details of the 16-word motto. Feng Fei's lovely eyes turned to Xiang Xiaolong and plainly invited, Why don't Manager Shen explain on my behalf? Shi Su Feng and Boss Jin cannot conceal the surprise on their faces. Feng Fei is known to be proud and aloof, why would she allow a lowly manager to represent her views? Xiang Xiaolong obviously knew that Feng Fei is testing him and can only groan inwardly. Currently, the fruit seed is underneath his tongue, so the minute he starts talking, the meticulous Feng Fei will start suspecting that he is afraid of Shi Su Feng for certain reasons. He could only stutter, I just bit my tongue accidentally and it is not convenient for me to speak at length. It is better for mistress. Hey! Seeing that the three persons are staring at him with their eyes wide open, he had to stop talking and awkwardly opened his palms skywards. 
Looking at him shrugging his shoulders and opening his palms skywards, Shi Su Fang was reminded of a similar cheeky body language by someone she had met before but at that point in time, she could not relate it to Xiang Shaolong. She intriguingly remarked, I did not know that Mr. Shen is a fellow connoisseur. I will seek your guidance next time. Boss Jin guffawed, even my curiosity is stirred by mistress, Feng Fei, dot. Feng Fei nastily stared at Xiang Xiao Long for a moment before explaining, Great song and dance, white teeth and pretty eyes refers to the combination of performing talent and a beautiful appearance. They make up the star power of the performer and by utilizing a pleasant and inviting setup, you will attract the audience's attention and subsequently leave them bedazzled. Junior sister need not feel inferior to me. You are a success in your own right. Shi Su Fang shook her head, senior sister Feng is being too polite. Among the three famous courtesans, with regards to beauty, talent, song composition, or choreography, anyone you ask will absolutely nominate senior sister Feng to be the best. Thus, it is widely acknowledged that you are the leading courtesan. After learning that senior sister Feng is planning to retire to your hometown, no matter how difficult it is, I will have to pay senior sister Feng a visit and respectfully seek your advice. Boss Jin inquired, May I ask mistress, Feng Fei, what is the meaning behind performing according to segment, finding one's niche? Xiang Shaolong first scanned Feng Fei before moving his gaze to Shi Su Feng, feasting his eyes on their beauty. He did not feel tired at all and wished that this exchange can go on for much longer. He did not expect the difficult-to-get-along lady of three perfections Shi Su Feng to behave in a subservient manner in front of Feng Fei. If she is not here to learn a few tricks on the sly, she would be harboring a hidden agenda. Nevertheless, Feng Fei is exceptionally quick-witted and it will not be easy for Shi Su Feng to benefit from her sharing. Feng Fei simply rationalized. People on different social levels will exhibit different interests and appreciation. If we are performing in the royal palace, the main concept has to be an auspicious celebration. Before an audience of learned scholars, a less boisterous performance is preferred. It would be ideal to have a performance with deep content, invoking one's afterthoughts. If you are performing to the mass public, you must create a lively atmosphere emphasizing concepts of love, separation, joy, and sorrow, stimulating the viewer's emotions. Boss Jin slapped the table, sighing, with these few words, Su so Fang will benefit to no ends. Shi Su so Fang was exhilarated, an example of finding one's niche is senior sister Fang who created her own brand and unique performing style. Even if someone wishes to copy, one can only copy the context but never the content. Recalling that Feng Fei challenged the singing norms with her novel singing method, Xiang Shaolong could not help but agree in unison. Feng Fei was not the least flattered by their praises but plainly queried, Now that you have heard it all, I wonder what instructions does Boss Jin and Junior Sister have for Feng Fei? Boss Jin replied in a serious manner, I wonder if Mistress has heard of this playboy named Qi Yu. Feng Fei frowned, Yes, I have heard of his name. He is said to be the descendant of an official. Blessed with good looks and the gift of the gab, he has deflowered numerous pitiful girls. Why did Boss Jin bring him up? Hearing the name Qi Yu, Xiang Shaolong recalled that this is the man whom Zhao Mu used to seduce Zhao Ye. Now that Zhao Ye has passed on, his heart was firstly struck with grief, but Feng Fei used his proverb, gift of the gab, and her face turned slightly red momentarily indicating that she is thinking of him, causing his heart to be struck by longing. The two irreconcilable feelings arise at the same time, causing him to experience an indescribable sensation. Boss Jin continued, This man is now an active companion of soft-boned beauty Lan Gong Yuan. Two nights ago, he was extremely drunk at Yiya Brothel, the biggest local brothel, and started to speak in an absurd manner. He predicted that this time round, Lan Gong Yuan would be able to outshine Mistress's brilliance, causing Mistress to retire with regrets and hatred. It is a bizarre statement indeed. This is a good example to highlight Feng Fei's refinement. Despite the threat, her face remains calm and peaceful, only revealing simple signs of deep contemplation. 
Shi Su Feng softly surmised, we could not help but feel worried for Senior Sister Feng. He only mentioned Senior Sister Feng's name and not Su Feng's, my, name, indicating the possibility of a scheme and the high likelihood of success, inciting our bewilderment. Hearing these words, Xiang Shaolong was greatly alarmed, deducing that this matter must be linked to the leaking of the song sheet. But logically, the song sheet is still in the possession of Dong Shuzhen, why is Qi Yu acting so confident? The more he thought about it, the more he felt that something is not right. Not in the mood to carry on the conversation, he stood up. The other three individuals looked at him questioningly. Xiang Shaolong excused himself and left alone in search of Dong Shuzhen. The gorgeous beauty was resting in her room when Xiang Shaolong barged right in, dismissed her maids and immediately interrogated, where is the song sheet which you secretly copied? Dong Shuzhen was irritated, are you going to force a confession out of me? Suppressing his anger, Xiang Shaolong sat down and illustrated, Qi Yu openly declared that he has a way to make mistress, Feng Fei retire with regrets and hatred. If he did not have the song sheet, why would he make such a wild prophecy? Dong Shuzhen's face lost some color but she firmly shook her head, the song sheet is still here. I... I just got it back from Xiu Chen and was prepared to have you burn it. Xiang Shaolong demanded, then give it to me now. Dong Shuzhen furiously glared at him for some time before moving to a chest in the corner retrieving a bamboo tube and throwing it to him in an angry manner. Xiang Shaolong easily caught the tube and pried the cover off, obtaining a roll of parchment. Opening the parchment, his face lost all color. In a horrified tone, he questioned, why is it blank? This time round, it is Dong Shuzhen's face that underwent a drastic change. Petrified and coming to his side, she fearfully shrieked, heavens! Who made a switch? Xiang Shaolong can feel his heart sinking in. Unless Feng Fei can create a new song within the next ten days before the performance, she will have to resort to singing her old songs. It will be a great letdown as the new song is specially composed to commemorate the birthday of the King of Qi. Her face deathly grey in color, Dong Shuzhen stammered in a trembling voice, This is impossible. Xiu Chen and I have been extremely careful. Xiang Shaolong sighed, the only solution now is to be honest with mistress, Feng Fei, and pray for some form of salvation. Leaping into his arms, Dong Shuzhen was shaking uncontrollably, Shen Liang, please save me. Dong Shuzhen and Zhu Ziyu Chen are kneeling in front of Feng Fei, completely crestfallen like inmates on a death row. Until now, they could not comprehend who made the switch and stole the copy of the song sheet. There is no sign of blood on Feng Fei's delicate face now that her painstaking creation has landed in the hands of Lan Gong Yuan. Needless to say, it was a devastating blow to her and she was not in the mood to punish the two ladies. Xiang Shaolong was depressed too. He suggested, if mistress can be the first to perform, it does not matter even if Lan Gong Yuan has the song sheet. Feng Fei shook her head, it has been agreed that we will be performing the finale item. Moreover, Tian Dan is the organizer and they are out to make things difficult for us. They will not permit the change in order of the performances. Xiang Shaolong wondered, is mistress able to come up with a new song? Feng Fei bitterly laughed, unless I can come up with a song within a day, we would not even have the time to rehearse for the song, leading to a lackluster presentation. I, it is hard to guard against internal spies but I guess Feng Fei, I, is partly to be blamed too. Hearing her words, Dong Shuzhen and Zhu Ziyuchen cried inconsolably and collapsed on the floor. Xiang Shaolong could not help but feel respect for Feng Fei. Although this beauty has been selfish to some extent, she possesses the magnitude to reflect on her own behavior given the present circumstances. It demonstrates her broad-mindedness and empathetic personality. Feng Fei looked over to Xiang Shaolong with her eyes filled with disappointment. In an amazingly harmonious tone, she lamented, I would rather refrain from performing than to put up a substandard show. I have committed to using a new song for the birthday celebration and it is inappropriate to recycle an old tune with new lyrics. 
Looks like I have to fake an illness to excuse myself from this competition. Out of a sudden, Xiang Shaolong's muscular body shook vigorously as his eyes glowed with newfound energy. He proposed in a solemn voice, I once composed a song and if I try to hum the tune, would it stimulate mistress's thinking cap, allowing you to alter it into a new song? In actual fact, he is hardly a songwriter but he did frequent karaoke lounges back in the 21st century and there are ten odd songs that he is familiar with. Faced with a desperate situation like this, he wishes to contribute as much as possible. The tunes of these songs are totally different from ancient tunes but under Feng Fei, this ancient musical talent, it may be convertible to suit the music of this era. Feng Fei consented, let's hear you sing it. Xiang Xiaolong bitterly laughed, I cannot sing. I can only hum. Feng Fei appears to pay little regards to his composition and snapped, then let's hear you hum. I, you said you have hurt your tongue and yet you are speaking in such a flawless manner now. Xiang Xiaolong is not interested to rebut her and picked the most popular song back in the 21st century, AA I cannot leave him and began humming. His humming skill is deplorable but his rhythm and accuracy of the beats is rather precise. When he first began humming, Feng Fei thought nothing of it but after Xiang Xiaolong awkwardly hummed halfway through the song, her emotions went from keen interest to shock and awe. Even Dong Shuzhen and Zhu Ziuchen have stopped crying, staring at him with disbelief. After humming the entire song, Xiang Xiaolong pathetically asked Feng Fei as his face turned red, How is it? Dazed like a wooden chicken, Feng Fei stared at him for quite a while before exhaling a breath, You never fail to surprise me. This is the first time I ever heard such a strange tone. It is pleasing to the ears but the tone is sorrowful and unsuitable for a festive atmosphere. Xiang Xiaolong panicked, I have another song. Feng Fei was astounded, I thought you only composed one song. Xiang Xiaolong had to confess, I was uttering rubbish. To be honest, I have composed several songs. Touched, Feng Fei nodded as if she suddenly recalled something. Turning to the two ladies, she hissed, Get out of my sight. The two ladies hurriedly took their leave. As they were leaving, the look on their faces for Xiang Xiaolong is enough to mesmerize any man for years to come. Xiang Xiaolong chose a fast and upbeat AA Navy anthem and began humming. Feng Fei stood up after the second song has ended and threw herself into his arms, embracing him tightly in a bear hug, swearing, even if you want Feng Fei's, my, body, Feng Fei will gladly give it to you. I only ask that you hum all the songs that you have composed. This time round, I will make that thieving Lan Gong Yu and suffer a crushing defeat. By the time Xiang Xiaolong left Feng Fei's block, he felt like he just woke up from a dream. He obviously would not take advantage of the situation and make love to Feng Fei. However, he is certain that based on his ten odd songs, he has won her heart. It is not as if Feng Fei has fallen in love with him but rather Feng Fei is viewing him in the same way he views Li Mu, nothing but admiration. Xiang Xiaolong may be feeling guilty but his endeavor to assist Feng Fei to defeat Lan Gong Yuan is more important than anything else. He barely left the garden of the main block when he was intercepted by Dong Shuzhen and Zhu Ziuchen. Xiang Xiaolong had to fulfill his appointment with Xie Ziwan and comforted them as much as he can with kind words. At the same time, he reminded them not to disturb Feng Fei who is working hard at composing a new song. He instructed, the two of you should think about who is the third party who knows about the hiding place of the song sheet. We must find out who is the culprit. Zhu Ziuchen replied, Only Zhang Chuan knows about it besides us but it is impossible for him to enter my room without my knowledge. Xiang Xiaolong reasoned, He can easily overcome this obstacle by bribing your serving maids. As Zhu Ziuchen was feeling guilt-ridden, Xiang Xiaolong took this opportunity to take his leave. Arriving at the main hall, the sword as promised by Boss Jin happened to be delivered at the same time. Pulling out the sword for a look, he can tell that it is a high-quality weapon although it is inferior to Blood Wave. The sword felt heavy, which matches his needs and he can feel an increase in goodwill towards Boss Jin as a result. Xiao Yuan is right. Boss Jin is a hero in his own ways. 
After making arrangements for Feng Fei's dinner appointment to be cancelled, Xiang Xiaolong piled on additional clothes and a cap before he left Ting Song Villa. As the rain and snow fell around him, he noticed that the roads were largely deserted. Recalling his earlier encounters, he was amused that everyone had the notion that he was unfathomable. His infinite pool of ideas, methods and resources is due to 2,000 years of human advancement, paving a way out for him in countless situations. If he wanted to make love to Feng Fei tonight, she will surely succumb despite some initial resistance but this is something beyond his integrity. Having some fun with her is one thing but if he goes overboard, he would be a third party breaking up her relationship, which is something he wants to avoid at all costs. Right now, he is on close terms with several beauties and yet maintains a non-5EXUAL relationship is surprisingly another source of delight. When he initially lost the battle and was on the run, he would never imagine himself leading his current lifestyle. When Feng Fei holds her rehearsals again, it would be necessary to keep it confidential, preventing her valuable intellectual property rights from being pirated. Although he was a pirate too for violating the copyrights of other songwriters, there is no conflict of interest. Because in the 21st century, all records of ancient music have been lost. Thinking on a deeper level, even if Lan Gong Yuan gets hold of the new song, she would not have sufficient time to practice. Moreover, Feng Fei can insert other lyrics into the new song and there is nothing Lan Gong Yuan can do. As he thought up till this point, hoofbeats sounded behind him. He did not think too much about it until the hoofbeat stopped about ten steps behind him. He instantly increased his sense of alertness. Next, the quivering sound of a spear can be heard. His hand grasping the handle of the new sword Boss Jin presented to him, he calmed himself down. His attacker is a single man on a single horse. By observing the rhythm of the hoof beats, he can tell that his opponent is a seasoned fighter. The corners of his mouth curving up to form a grin, Xiang Xiaolong did not bother to look back. He slowed down his pace and leisurely walk amidst the rain and snow. As forewarned by Boss Jin, his challenger has finally appeared. 